Ladies and gentlemen, for your listening pleasure, the MMA band will perform a musical number. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Military Academy's Commandant of Cadets, Sergeant Major Devon R. Smythe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. First, I'd like you to join me in a round of applause for our choir. We didn't even know how to choir. That was the MMA band. That was outstanding. That was a treat for us all to see that this morning. Our band is under the direction of Mr. Keith DeSantis and Cadet Eric Eckstein. They have made some for us. Next up, I want to say thank you to Chaplain Trevino for being here. Thank you for the warm weather. I know we needed cold weather last week to test our new jackets. They work. Thank you for bringing in the warm weather. <laughs> Parish, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love and support you provide to those 17 soon to be cadets out there. They made it. They're here. All the physical feats of hiking, running, weightlifting, and much, much more. They made it through all that and they're here. They're no longer visitors. We're glad to have visitors here, but these guys are no longer visitors. They got it all done and they're ready. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the President of Marine Military Academy and our Commandant, welcome to the graduation parade for introductory training. Today's parade is being executed by the officers and enlisted cadets of the Marine Military Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the invocation by Chaplain Adan Trevino. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this graduation and for the accomplishments these students have achieved. Thank you for the positive impact we have witnessed through honor, leadership, service, and character. I pray that you will continue to be with them and their families as they move to their next assignment. I pray blessing upon blessing as they have been a blessing to so many. Grant them the strength that was promised in Joshua 1 9. This is my command be strong and courteous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord is with you wherever you go. I also pray that you will be with them as they assume a new role as a cadet. Provide for them everything that they need to serve with faithfulness, courage, and integrity. 
Grant them with his promise in Isaiah 41.10. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your father. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Help these cadets and all of us to be more committed to the cause of freedom both here in the United States and around the world. Let this commitment be molded by our tradition, training, and empowered by your grace. In God's name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Please be seated. <clears throat> At this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition that led to the formation and growth of your cadets. Company, Drill Instructor Master Gunner Sergeant Ricardo Gonzalez. <laughs> Delta Company, Drill Instructor First Sergeant Edgar Ramirez. <laughs> Echo Company, Drill Instructor First Sergeant Sergio Barrios. Fox Company, Drill Instructor Sergeant, Master Sergeant Mac Hall. <laughs> Golf Company, Drill Instructor Sergeant Major Andrew Cece. Present-day parades have their basis in both history and tradition. The mass formation of troops on one long line at close interval made possible the massing of firepower from muzzle-loaded muskets of yesterday. In those early days, the line of battle was just that, a line of two or three ranks and looked much like the parade formation you will see today. The adjutant forms the line for battle. The next command the adjutant will issue will be sound adjutant's call. This announces that the adjutant is about to form the guard, the battalion, or the regiment. Immediately following the last note of this call, all companies march online.
All present. <coughs> Company E, all present. Company F, all present. Company G, all present. In the 18th and 19th centuries, when there were no telephones, fax machines, or email, a daily parade was held which not only provided opportunities for troop inspections and drill, but also published routine orders to all hands, such as daily guard details. The custom survives in the publication of the Officers of the Day detail whenever we hold a parade. The origin of Officer's Center was found on the battlefield when a unit was formed either in an assembly area or in line of battle preliminary to action. The commander called his officers together for any last minute encouragement or instructions either for the battles in the past or for the parade this morning. The presence of guidons enables unit commanders of the adjutant to distinguish quickly between units. Officer's Center also gives commanders a brief chance to critique the conduct of the ceremony or to order it done again. Now taking his position in the reviewing area is Sergeant Major Delvin R. Smythe, United States Marine Corps, retired, Commandant of the Marine Military Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
Thank you. Please be seated. <clears throat> Standing before you are 17 young men who have completed their introductory training. At this time, the new cadets will recite the cadet pledge, which will indicate their transition from plebe to cadet. Cadets, repeat after me. As a cadet at the Marine Military Academy, I will always be faithful to my parents, to my God, to my country, and to the Academy. I will wear my uniform proudly, and in so doing, uphold the standards established by the United States Marine Corps. I will always behave honorably. I will not lie, cheat, or steal. I will respect my fellow cadet. I will not bear false witness against him. I will devote myself to the pursuit of knowledge. I will strive to conduct myself in such a manner as to reflect favorably upon the academy. I will not use drugs, alcohol, or steroids. I will and will not tolerate their use by other cadets. I will be an achiever and a believer. I will do my best in every way. For I am a cadet at the Marine Military Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present to you the newest members of the Corps of Cadets. <laughs> In ancient times, commanders would form the line of battle much as we form the parade today. Our parade is a descendant of this combat formation. In preparation for battle, commanders ordered their units to pass in review. Each unit then marched by in front of the commander so he could observe with every platoon and man to evaluate their state of training and discipline. This tradition remains today as the final act in a parade and for much the same reason, to afford the commander a closer look at the marching ability and state of discipline of his units. You are reminded, as the national colors come abreast of your position, please rise. <clears throat>
Now passing in review is the Cadet Battalion Staff led by Cadet Lieutenant Colonel William Webb. The drum major and band officer is Cadet Eric Eckstein. <clears throat> Company A, Cadet Captain Liam Kelly. Company D, Cadet Captain Evan Gunderson. The MMA Color Sergeant is Cadet William Bozell. Company E, Cadet Captain Brian Anderson. Company F, Cadet Captain Kenneth Jones. G, Cadet Captain Samuel Deering. <clears throat> Please rise for the playing of the Marines' hymn. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. We ask that you please attend the certificate ceremonies to be held in front of your cadet barracks. Thank you for your attendance and Semper Fidelis.